everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name still remains Chase Go Kenne. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome to my channel. And if you are a new subscriber, if you're clicking on this channel for the first time, it's all good vibes here. And hit the subscribe button and join the family. Give this video a thumbs up. I'm just going to sit down and talk about Kaya Mata. Today we're going to be talking about the issue of Kaya Mata. Hey, this is a gist story time whatever with me video so the story goes like this i got the permission from my friend to share this video i'm not going to be mentioning any names in fact even the instagram vendors that she bought her own kaya mata from i'm not going to mention it so you might be asking what is kaya mata if you're a nigerian and you are ha and you happen to be on the internet you should have seen something like that kaya mata you should have seen it even on insta blog they carry the they carry the adverts and all of that you should have come across it one way or the other so um but maybe you don't even know what it means kaya mata is just like any other herbal product it's um it literally means your load or your property is an outside term and translating it in english would mean your load or your property the first time i've heard of kaya mata was far back as when i was in university people talked about it a lot as per um sex enhancement drug is a herbal product that aids in sex enhance it aids sex and uh, it's it it helps people to enjoy sex better it can help erection it can help you get wet blah 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 and all of that but as we evolved from 2016 2015 when the onset of kaya mata and the people that were early in that business as it went on from that the vendors of kaya mata now started carrying the one that will trap man the one that you rub, the oil that you rub and go for interview and you get the job, that contract that nobody has signed on or approved on, when you chew three broom, broomsticks, in fact, when you chew that broomsticks in a particular position and you enter that person's office, that contract must be approved. So we've seen a lot of that. In fact, even now, people are still buying into that belief that if they rub oil on their leg, oil of favor, oil of greatness, oil of destiny, blah, 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 blah. Somehow, people believe that if they do this thing, it will work. And vendors are buying into that market. That CEO, I am selling the one that will make you that will make you find a man that will buy house in Banana Island for you. And I've always wondered, what exactly is the mechanism of action be behind these oils or behind these products? That if you eat this seed, this seed, how is this seed, how is this seed that I'm eating going to help me attract somebody that would, you know, buy me a house or buy me a car? I am not neglecting the fact that destiny helpers exist. By all means, people have benefited so much from destiny helpers in fact that term destiny helpers originated from nigeria you can't tell me otherwise because as you are moving out one day somebody will say don't insult the beggar on the streets don't treat people badly don't do this because you don't know where you meet your words your destiny help but this story i'm about to share with you people is a true life experience of my friend that used kaya mata products especially the oil of favor <laughs> so she's a Christian and in this Christian journey, let me not lie to you people, it can get frustrating at times when you are praying for a particular thing, you're trusting God. In fact, there is no prayer that you've not prayed for this particular thing and you're trusting God for it and somehow the answers are not coming as quick as you want it to. I know God has his own time, a thousand years is like one day in his sight, but sometimes it can get really frustrating on the journey of trusting God. So that is what happened to my friend. She was believing God for a job. And for so long, for so many years after NYSC, nothing was forthcoming. She tried a lot of things. She sent her CV out. She tried to improve herself. She tried to gain one skill here and there. And somehow, none of the efforts that she was putting in was yielding results. So, somebody from nowhere, I don't know how the person came about, told her that, this Kaya Mata introduced her to one of those vendors on Instagram that you see that sell oil of favor. And I don't know because, you know, I don't know. Let me put this thing into perspective. As a Christian, your, your faith can be weak at times. Especially when you've waited for so long. 
Even it happened to Israelites. It happened to them. Their faith too was because promised land, promised land. Where is it that still walking in the wilderness? So it can happen to anybody. So my brothers and sisters, somebody introduced her to this oil of favor and told her that she should use it. That if she use it once, she use it. She be you see NNPC job. If she doesn't get it, then her name is not Shezuko. It's not me. Oh. <laughs> it's not me that introduced her. But they told her that if you use this oil and they have specific instruction, that's what bothers me. That you must religiously follow this instruction. Very strict. And it's not, it's, maybe they will tell you to rub it here. Don't let it cross to this place. So if you cross to this place, that's spoiled. So those very strict regulations that you have to follow it is what really triggers my Christianity. <laughs> so my friend though, she didn't tell me when because of course I would have advised her against it. Because after everything happened that she was now telling me this is what happened. So my brothers and sisters, she bought from one of those vendors on Instagram. They gave her the oil, they gave her the seed, they gave her bracelets, no, ankle chain. They also gave her waist bead and they told her that this is how you should use it. They gave her the instruction. This is how you should use it. This is when you should use it. And in fact, there are things that you should say as you are walking into the interview room. So she sent out her CV as usual. And the package she paid for, I think she paid for about 50,000 Naira. And for somebody who was out of a job, bringing out that money, I'm, I'm sure it meant a lot to have to bring out that amount of money. So my brothers and sisters, she brought out... She brought out 50,000 to buy this particular package and they told her to rub it this way, rub it that way. And also the previous night before the interview, she should also do some things. She performed some rituals and all that. So that is what exactly what she did. In the morning of the interview, lo and behold, my sweet sister, she woke up with one side of her leg swollen. I'm telling you from here, from the knee down to her ankle was swollen. And the swelling I'm telling you, about, I'm talking to you about is when, you know when people have um, edema. We thought it was Joko. I told her, okay, she uh, massage it small. And it was quite painful. It was not just that the leg was swollen. It was painful at the same time. I suggested, okay, maybe you should massage it or maybe you should do something about it. Maybe maybe you should um, use a cold water um, ice block and compress to see if it will go down. But it was not happening. After two days, two days, number one, the people that she submitted her CV to did not call out. The oil of favor did not work out. Number two, she was dealing with swollen legs. And one other thing, one other problem that I have in particular with these products is that on the ingredient list, you will not see, okay, this is the this is what this thing is made of. When you look at the ingredients, ingredients, there is nothing pointing out that this is exactly what this thing is made of. They just give you and give you instruction. You'll be drinking it. You'll be drinking poison. You don't know what is inside. After five days, this babe's leg was still swollen. We knew that at that point, it was very serious. That is how we went to the hospital. And they started asking what happened, history. My babe did not, she could not open this girl, she could not open her mouth to say, I bought Kaya Mata. So she, she conjured up one story in the hospital. And the doctors were very helpful, thank God. Um, they were very helpful in calming the situation down. She was admitted for one week before that leg that was swollen came down it is not the devil that even told her not to touch that thing again i'm saying this to say that if you're a christian and you are in a journey of trusting god you're on a journey you're on a journey that seems to be very long you don't know why god is not answering your prayers it's like your own is different everybody around you is prospering everybody around you seem to be prospering because i have to put the parenthesis around that because sometimes what we look with our eyes is not actually the way that it is some of them seem to be prospering but they are not actually prospering so for where you are at you think your own situation is very bad your own situation in fact everywhere you are in the dungeon you are in the being nothing your situation is nothing to write home about so you look at all other people and you think that this is the way i mean you have to do something about your situation you, you can't just be folding your hands and be looking because some people will come around you and say why are you just sitting down looking you don't want to help yourself god help those who help themselves is a lie because those, that is the thing that will drive you into insanity into madness 
So I'm just saying this to say, if you're in a process of waiting on God for a thing that is not forthcoming as soon as you want it to, God knows better and he knows when at the right time to give you that miracle. Even myself, I'm on a waiting period in my life and I understand that no matter what, God is on my side. So that is a little encouraging note there. This is just a life lesson. If you are the type of people that will go to Kaimata, and especially for you as a Christian, you say this is the one that you should do, this one that you should use. And some people might say, even 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 you that is a Christian, she, she used to give you people olive oil in church. She used to give you people handkerchief that the, that the pastor used to clean his sweat so that you clean your own sweat. There are spiritual doctrines and depending on the church that you go to, that is why the church and the organization that you belong is very important. So that you grow there and they feed you the undiluted word of God. I want you to comment down below if you know someone that have used this Kayamata products and the eff after effects of it or the repercussion that it caused to the person. I want to read all your comments. I want to learn from you. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up as well. Turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every single time I drop a new video. I also want to add that I drop videos every Wednesday and Friday. So please follow me across all social media platforms and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye!